the Center for Victory podcast of your best day yet. Here at Center for Victory, we're here to help unlock, reinforce, and enrich relationships through personal and professional development. My name is Zach Del Turco. I'm an executive consultant here at the Center for Victory. And we have the one and only Eric Guy, Chief Victory Officer, back. We're talking about his book about giving and generosity. So we're in chapter seven. And six. Let's, chapter six. Okay, yeah, that's right. <laughs> chapter six. Let's jump into it. In your book, you say that giving gives us power. Uh -huh. What do you mean by that? Well, much like Superman gets his you know, power from the sun or... Or Kanye gets his power. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. But, no, or, Kanye West. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I just don't even know what that means. But anyhow, or, or like Popeye. You ever watch yeah, Popeye? You Popeye, know what Popeye yeah, is yeah. with the spinach? <laughs> Um, when we give, it, it, it powers us up and, and we become better, uh, not, not just physically. I mean, it's not like eating your spinach at Popeye and you get big forearms and you bust people up. <laughs> uh, but it really repairs us um, physically and emotionally. And, you know, I think what we've, a lot of people have just given that lip service, but there's a lot of things that, that really support that. Yeah. So giving gives us power. Mm -hmm. And then you also talk about, which I'm a little skeptical on. Okay. You say something along the lines of this, that giving really brings us healing. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about that. All right. When you, when you look at the, you know, the statistics that come from like the Center for Disease Control, it's, you know, but they've, they've stated this, we've known this, 90% of all our illnesses are stress related. And, and most of those are because we're so self-consumed, mm -hmm. you know, with ourselves. Um, we're in survival, we're in protection, that once we start giving, and once we shift our mindset to that, then our, our, our body follows along and our emotions follow along. There's, a, there's a, a, a guy by the name of Dr. Bruce Lipton, and I love his work. Um, the book's called The Biology of Belief. And when you read through that, you know, he, you know, he's a cellular biologist. So it's, you know, it's not like a, a one day read for most people, you know, you're going to have to get into it a little bit, but you know, our thoughts and actions affect the cells of our bodies. So when you're in a giving mentality and you're actually in the action of giving, mm -hmm. what that actually does is it changes the cells in our bodies. Um, you know, Cleveland Clinic issued a report, um, the report was called um, Want to Give, This is Your Brain on a Helper's High. And one of the things that it, it cited or that were health benefits were, were several things. It lowers blood pressure, so giving lowers blood pressure. Um, it increases self-esteem, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Lowers depression, lowers stress levels. Uh, it leads to greater happiness and it also the other thing that it does is it they've shown that it's also uh, Led to a longer life. Hmm. So it really really does. I mean, it's just not me saying that and And I've just found out through the years. That's one of the things that for me. I was like, okay Well, what makes people happy? I mean this was years ago. What really makes people happy? And, and the more I researched it and things like that I found that people that were the most happy and most successful, both of those, I mean, because some people can be very successful and not yeah. happy, yeah. but having both of those, right, uh, they were givers. Wow. And, you know, they, they always, you know, they had like a servant mi mindset or they do have a servant mindset, you know, even people from the past that I've studied. Um, but it, it's, it's just crazy. Uh, you know, you were in the office here yesterday when, when I was getting my blood pressure, I had to get my blood pressure taken uh, three different times. Um, it was just for a, for a health checkup here that we were having. And the lady took my blood pressure the first time and she's like, wow, that's really good. Let me take it again. She's like, how old are you? <laughs> she took it again and it was the exact same thing. And then I walked in and then it spiked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, no. No, it did not. Um, but, I mean, she took it three times and it was, you know, it was, uh, it was really good. And, and I think, and I don't think it's just that, but, 
you know, being a giver and, and being able to give back and forth and not just being a taker really has a huge benefit on us physically and emotionally. And, you know, here's just the thought. I mean, what if just half the world became givers? Mm -hmm. What could we do? Yeah. Right. I mean, just we could, a lot of the things that, that ail us could go away. So true. And this kind of ties in, this question kind of ties into what you just talked about. But when you give, in your book it talks about how it heightens oneself uh, of gratitude or one sense of gratitude. Mm -hmm. what, what do you mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is there was a, a research project, and there's other research projects, just this one here on gratitude and thankfulness. And it found that um, what they did is they taught college students... Uh, to count their blessings and what they noticed is it caused them to exercise more mm. um, it caused them to be more optimistic and just feel better about their overall lives and wow. we know a lot of college students you know struggle you know we went through that too we were just on a call with this week right yeah and the pressure of that yeah yeah and just being thankful for what you have I mean just the fact that you know, for some kids that they're going to school or have a job or whatever, uh, but just being thankful for, for what you do have. But it, it does heighten that sense. So when you give, it actually makes you feel a little bit more grateful. And, and I'll never forget, uh, I think it was the second time my son went over to Africa with me. And he came back. And we those trips we usually would take over Thanksgiving, so about this time of year. And we would come back first week or so in December, and that just follows into to Christmas. And, and we were uh, getting ready to open presents that year. And before he started opening his presents, he just started tearing up. And I was like, what's wrong? He's like, I just feel like I have so much. I'm so thankful because yeah. for what he had just seen and then coming back here. So it really does heighten that. and. Uh, you know, when I grow up, I wish I could be like him. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, he just, he's very thankful for everything that he has. But, uh, you know, it does benefit us yeah. to do that physically, emotionally, and, and spiritually. Yeah. It is so true when you're talking about that mission trip. I, I went, I've only been on one. Uh -huh. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't like leaving the country. I like, <laughs> I like staying on the U.S. soil. But, I mean, we went across the border into Mexico. And it was literally two hours from Texas. Uh -huh. And... It was Thanksgiving, so I, I missed Thanksgiving with my family, but I was down there, and I just saw how grateful these young men were. It was in an orphanage, yeah. and they didn't, they didn't have anything. Yeah. Literally, they had one pair of shoes and two outfits, and then here I am. I get on my phone on my way back, and I see all my family saying what they want for Christmas. <laughs> and it was the most disgusting thing. Like, these kids have nothing, and here we are. I want my... I want, my fourth pair of Nike shoes. I yeah. want the new iPhone 11. I'm like, man, if we would just stop and say how, how grateful we really are instead of just saying, mm -hmm. what can I get next? What can I get next? Because I think that's where it comes into place. That's, it's the false gratitude. Look, if we get something, it's going to bring us happiness. Right. And it does, right? For a For minute. A bit. And then it's like, oh man, there's still that void in me. And I think that void is not what you get, but what you give. Yeah, when you when you start giving, it fills that void. Yeah. Well, it's a lat. It's a you know we said last podcast ripple effect. Yeah. And it just keeps on going. When you get something, you get a little hit. Yep. When you give something, you get a big hit. You get a big hit. Yeah, that lasts much longer. Much <laughs> <laughs> longer. So as we wrap up, give, give us a couple bullet points, big picture ideas. Or themes of what this yeah, chapter I mean, is all about. Yeah, really two big ones that really go hand in hand that I'll, I'll leave folks with. You know, if you want to feel better, give better. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe you don't like to hear that. And, you know, I've said it before and I know I've ruffled some people's feathers, you know, about saying that when they don't feel so good. Just hey, be a better giver. And what goes in with that is if you want a good uh, return on investment, and we're all, you know, we're United States, we're always talking about ROI, return on, what's my return on investment? You want a great return on investment, the best you could ever bit, get, uh, start giving and give 
often as much as you can. Yeah. And I want to leave you guys with this proverb. It's this. It's, ble- it's better to give than to receive. Plain and simple. Give today. Make it an action step of what you do. Just give. Maybe it's a, a word of encouragement, a hug, a like on Facebook or Instagram. Just do something towards giving. So thank you guys so much for staying tuned to our podcast of your best day yet. Leave some comments in the comment section below. Let us know what stood out to you. Also hit that bell, that's that notification. So when we post videos, you're notified when that comes up. You can also reach out to us at www.centerforvictory.com. And we would love to hear from you. We'd love to get connected with you. And we always say this. This is the last thing we say in every podcast. Let's say it together. Whatever wherever, you're at. Wherever you're at. <laughs> whatever you're doing. doing make, make this, this your best, best day yet. yet. See you.